how to create random colour lines and warp them in Affinity Photo. First thing you do, Layer Menu and New Layer. And then go to Edit and Fill. Fill it with something, you need some content. So Fill, and I'm going to go for White. And you go up to the custom colour, set the colour to, you could go red, red, green, blue. I'm just going to go with white. And apply. So now you've got your layer. What you need to do is add some noise. Little layers panel there. You can find that via the view menu and studio. So now filters menu. And then go down to noise. There's not many noise features. There's a few, but there's add noise. And I've set it to the max, and you can hardly see any noise there at all, to be honest, with uniform or Gaussian. Click apply. As always, apply it multiple times. Three, four, five, six times up to you to create some noise. Just a little bit more. So I've got a lot more noise there now. Now with that noise, what I can do, I can apply a blur, a motion blur. So filters menu and blur. And this creates some great lines. Okay, there's a slight blur in the center, but it's, I, I'm not worried about that. You can also set the radius up to a maximum. You can always try it larger. I always do. Never remember the actual value, but 1024 pixels. Click apply. And just keep it going straight across. Now with the layers panel, what you can do then, you've got, I want two layers. Because I want don't want straight lines across, I want to go the other way as well. So I can go to layer menu and duplicate. And then just rotate it around by 90 degrees. Now it works best when you've got a document that's 1,600 by 1,600, as long as it's square. That works nicely. You can always resize a layer, of course, otherwise. And then you just use the blending modes in the layers. You can go through them. You can use darken, color burn. Just try them. Which one you think gives the best result? I think color burn's pretty good. So go with that one. Up to you. Now you've got this lovely crisscross design. Actually, I'm just changing my mind. <laughs> oh, well. No big deal. Now what I want to do is I want to merge them. There's no smart objects in Affinity Photo, so the only solution is layer menu and merge current ones selected. Merge visible. And you can always remove the other ones. I personally, I prefer just to keep them there. Perfectly happy with that because then you can always go back to them. If you want to bring them in again and apply additional effects. Now you've got that one selected and active. You can go to filters menu and distort. And you could of course use mirror equations. I've got thousands of equations that you can use to distort that. But I'm going to go for something easy for the distort and that and warp it. And that's deform. We'll just add some pins there. Or points, whatever you want to call them. And you can then just distort, just drag and distort. You can change the master setting if you wish. You can also change the linear constraints as well. It's quite useful. There's two options there. You can just drag, add multiple points and pins and just drag them around to this if you don't so you can create some very unique warped line designs very quickly using this approach and you can see the lovely effects that can be created there and once you're happy with that click apply and so you can go to the master setting there and you can see just put it back down to zero let's go back to what it was before so apply. Now it's a bit very faded. Really can't see it particularly well. 
and you can use a number of adjustments. So you can always go to the layer menu and new adjustment layer. And if you're like me, go and try one and it doesn't work. You can always undo or remove it or deselect it. So you can just go through it. There's a whole range of different adjustments. Say levels. Just try it. Change the, uh, you might think that's great. Change up, not so great. Gamma. And just go through the different settings. Just move it backwards and forwards just till you're happy with the design you've got. And apply it. Close the panel. And if you're unhappy with the result, you can always remove it afterwards. That's the great thing with adjustment layers. They're layers. You can delete them. Just close the panel and you've got that adjustment. And you can also, you've got blending modes at the bottom as well, which are great for trying out other colours. Just close it there. And say, if you're not happy with the result and if it doesn't look much better than what was before, what you can always do, you can always go over to the adjustment and just deselect it. It's still there, but it's not active. And then you can always go for layers. And I'm going to do what I did in the Photoshop one, similar one. I'm going to use vibrance just to boost up the vibrance. And just set those to the max. That makes it just a quite interesting color design there. And once you're happy with that, you can close it. And again, you can always remove it if you're not happy with the end result. I just happen to like that. Garish colour, line design. Hope you found this of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.